Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm doing an inking tutorial and I'm just going to say some basic inking tips that I think about when I'm drawing or I guess doing line art. Um, for me, I like to have uh, the color of the ink that I'm using to be a dark purple and not a black because when you do black it makes it look a lot deader. Like you can do that for certain things, like if you're trying to make it look very graphic or like if you're doing a comic where you need it to be black, then yeah, that's fine. But if, you, if you're doing like a drawing and you want it to have a little bit more life to it, do a dark purple or really any color other than black. I mean, you have to have it dark enough so that you can see it, but just don't do black. Trust me on that one. Um, also, for me, I use it on my stabilizer on the top. I set it to around... It's usually very low when I'm doing line art because... When it's high for me, I find it actually harder to make smooth lines. I know that sounds counterproductive, but a lot of people recommend that you have it high. And I know and I know what they mean for coloring. But when you're doing it for line art, you can't get as precise of a line. Like for coloring, you don't need it as precise. But when you're doing line art, you need it to be pretty precise. Or else you'll do a lot of erasing. And since I already did a lot of erasing when I was doing the sketch, I don't need to do it anymore. Then I need to. Since, and also, like, don't be afraid to, when you're doing line art. Like, you can always press Control Z. So don't, or you can just, like, have it on a separate layer. You can erase that layer, do it over again. That's what I had to do for this one. I started out, I was doing one, it was, it just turned out horrible, and I had to start over. But on this, it turned out pretty good. I like how it's going. Also, as you see on the bottom, well, yeah, bottom left of his face, it's, or, you know, whatever, I don't care. On the bottom left, it's darker because I'm imagining that there is a light source coming from the top right of his head. And when you're inking, you always want to think about the light source. So all of your lines are based off of that. Like, you don't have to act committedly think about it, but it's just something to have in the back of your mind. And, like, for most of my lines, I don't think about it. I just go on intuition, and I do whatever. But you do want to think about it some in the beginning. After that, everything kind of just flows. At least for me. Um... When, if you want something to pop out more, give it more contrast by making it black. Blacker. Well, not, you know what I mean. Like, darker than the rest of it. Like, on the eyes, how I'm doing right here. I make them a lot blacker or darker than the rest of the face. So they pop a lot more. Like, the top eyelash is very dark. It would not be like that in real life. But for this, since I want people to focus on the eyes, I make it very dark. Like, there's not really that, there's not that dark of a spot. And and it, anywhere else on his, on the face except for the eyes and the eyebrows because I really like thick eyebrows that's just a preference of mine um, also when you're doing it I think I'll do it soon you always want to check to make sure your line art matches up with the sketch okay so you take off the line art layer you look at the sketch and you compare them and you also will always want to flip your drawing because if you're drawing one way usually you will get used to that way and when you flip it you will see all the mistakes and you will start crying but it's okay because you're seeing the mistakes and when you see them you can fix them <laughs> so yeah always flip and the way you flip inside is by pressing H I think that's how it's set on mine I'm not sure if I'm pretty sure that's how it is defaultly also if you don't have Psy there are ways to get it if you need help I will help you get it <laughs> Especially if you don't have money. If you have money, actually pay for it. But if you don't, I will help you. Don't don't sue me, anybody, please. <laughs> um, I think it's getting towards the end of the video. And I just want to say um, I'll be posting videos, hopefully, on Sundays. And if I decide to do two a week, it'll be on Sundays and Wednesdays. Hopefully. I don't know how it's going to be when school starts. But I'm hopefully going to have a lot more time. Well, I'm going to have less time doing school, but I'll get home early and I'll be able to do videos. So hopefully this helped you guys. If it didn't, I'm sorry, but yeah. So thanks for watching, and I will hopefully see you next time. Not see you. I don't know. <laughs> Bye.